Hi, my name is Jason. I'm from the Rolling Intentions podcast, and today uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, some living card games, especially uh, one that these two are very familiar with, not so much I am, uh, Netrunner. Um, so uh, these guys are from the, uh, well, we're all from it, I guess, uh, the Avalon Grid, uh, which is, a, and we're currently in the Midgard building, uh, which is where we play our games. Um, and they're kind enough to let us do all this stuff, so uh, yeah. So, you guys want to introduce yourselves? My name's Craig. I'm Corey. Great. So, uh, yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, uh, Netrunner. Uh, mostly about uh, the type of decks, because, um, you know, there's a lot of stuff in the meta and whatnot, uh, and we usually play a lot more casual-based games than what's coming out in the meta. Um, and I've just experienced some <laughs> today uh, with this really strange deck. Um, and if you're familiar with Netrunner, of course, uh, you'll know um, the basics of it. So, uh, perhaps, do you have anything to add with regards to your deck that you've been playing? Oh, well, I've been playing a Ian deck with Snitch and three copies of Avoir. So you just go in, hit it, get three points or three credits, get three credits, get three credits, build up. Even with crappy breakers, yeah, you can you can get through stuff if you got the money, which which is the heart of criminal, I think. Yeah. So I, I was playing playing Waylon. I mean, sadly, like he was uh, having extra cards in his hand, so it was kind of hard for me to sort of butt in and 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 uh, get those uh, agendas hit because he kept. Uh, or even I was trying to I was trying to scorch earth them to get rid of his hand, and <laughs> and I couldn't do it. It just couldn't. It just never came an opportunity where I, where I was able to do that. Um, so uh, it was got to say it's one of the unique ones. Um, and uh, what was the key cards in your deck? Do you think? If you were going to well, give me some key cards. Okay. Um, the, the key card I didn't have in there is when people run uh, Ian, they always run the source, which causes the corp an extra, getting to need an extra point to score agendas, which slows them down and everything else. Fortunately, with Ian, you don't have the influence. I have 10 influence. So I went instead with um, R&D interfaces and more crappy breakers. So <laughs> that, that was about it. I mean, yeah, the... Uh, Ian's got the one link, so you run your underworld connections and you get your money that way. And uh, every turn, I was getting five credits for doing nothing. <laughs> so, yeah, at first I was not even sure what was going on. So, <laughs> to yeah. be honest, I was just like, oh, okay, I'll just keep scoring these agendas, and yeah, it didn't uh, work I mean, out in the end, though. Ian is is a tricky deck because if they're running fast advance, as soon as you see NBN come out and you know it's Astro Scripts, I mean, it's it's game over. So it's just, it's not what you would call a competitive deck in any way, and you need to get the cards for it even to work. Right. So. True. So uh, you played as well uh, today, uh, a game. A game. Yeah, we're getting to the a second one game. after this. Yeah, lengthy game. Yeah, it was huge. <laughs> yeah. I think we played two games through one. So what happened in that game? We didn't quite uh, follow it. So. Well, I'm uh, playing a uh, deck, a HB deck, based around uh, Next Design. Yeah. And uh, basically, it it's, uh, uses uh, Director Haas to uh, fast advance uh, mm -hmm. agendas, and it just puts out a whole ton of ice. Um, it's been shame sh shamelessly stolen from the internet. I, I, <laughs> I, I can't claim any creativity in making this one up myself. Um, but uh, this deck basically just puts out a, a whole ton of ice to try to, to uh, get just uh, long enough to keep the runner out, out to protect Director Haas so we can do yeah. the fast advance and score a few agendas. Um, in the meantime, um, he was playing um, Leela, wasn't it? Yeah. The uh, which basically was just bouncing my ice back to my hand. So here, wow. I had a deck. <laughs> I had a deck that had like uh, about twenty ice in it, just putting them out, and he playing the deck that was bouncing them back to my hand. So wow. it was just a back and forth, like, like the perfect, the perfect uh, counter to your deck, kind of. That was it. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the, uh, the 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 killing. Uh, the, the turning point, I suppose, if you will, was uh, he cleared it your, uh, he, he uh, yeah he managed to bounce everything off of HQ and then <laughs> then did a, uh, a double account siphon and, uh, let, and Ouch. so that, there there went the money to raise uh, anything I had left there and uh, then uh, to add insult to injury threw a uh, legwork on there and uh, grabbed three cards. So you never HQ, got rid of the so. tags or anything, or you just kept the tags, kind of sat there for a while. He wasn't running any tag punishment, so no. none that I saw anyway. So I mean, wow. he might have had something hidden in there, but. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, that was that was enough to slow me down, and by the time I got uh, enough economy to um, to catch up, yeah. he, he basically then uh, uh, he, he ran, managed to run uh, run my hand again, yeah. and uh, pulled a couple of uh, pulled two more agendas out there. I finally got a couple of agendas <laughs> that I could fast advance the score in in, in two turns. Yeah. And he, uh, 
He ran, he he hit both of them, he bounced two ice on my serve with Director Haas, and he grabbed her for two points and won the game. So <laughs> Dirty. <laughs> so what would you say the key cards of your deck would be if they were working? Uh, so, well, Director Haas is a key one, obviously, because yep, she, yep. she gives the uh, the extra click. Yep. And, uh, That's right. Uh, I'm not running any... Uh, so you only any... get one of her, right? Or do you get... Um, or is that the one you can run many of, but it's three, an assassin? Three, three so. copies, but one, uh, she's unique. I believe. You yeah. have one on the table. Yeah, because I remember uh, there was like an agenda that when you score it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a different one altogether, maybe. Probably one of the, the fragments or the Yeah, that's whatever. right. Yeah. yeah, when you score it, you get an extra click. Yeah. Oh, no, that's so, uh, mandatory upgrades. Mandatory upgrades, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's sort of like that, but. So what's what's the what's the drawback with her? Why is she so good? Uh, well, the thing is, she's worth uh, two points if the runner can get oh. into her, right? So, so it's an asset that that they can get some extra points for. Yeah, so she's uh, she's an, she's an asset, and yeah. uh, usually. Um, the, what this deck does is uh, throws yep. her onto a server, protects her, yep. and uh, if you, there's an ash in the deck as well. So if you can uh, drop ash onto the server, then the runner gets through, and uh, you can only you can't afford the, uh, the trace. You can you can only access ash, and Haas can stick around for another turn to score right. another another agenda. I mean, the corp having four clicks, you can purge water's counters and still. <laughs> Do uh, do something else. So it's not uh, even. I mean, well, four clicks. The game changes, right? Well, as I mean, last time I I, uh, I played with this deck, I uh, used my four clicks. One click to drop me launch, and then bang, yep. <laughs> bang, yep. bang, bang, three clicks. And, and any it, three so. any three uh, point agenda, you can you can get it out. Scary. Just drop it's scary install, though. Install it's triple advance and yeah. So you can score at a hand three I mean, pointers. Yeah. But I mean, uh, that's that's the sort of thing NBN players are, are used to that anyway. That's, that's the standard <laughs> standard yeah. archetype for for NBN. But uh, well, you're yeah. playing HB but though. H- well, HB has has some cards that do the same thing, right? right. Again, Biotic Labor gives you the two the extra clicks. clicks for one. Yep. Uh, not right. running any of those in in, in this deck. But no. uh, I'm looking at something else now. Probably throw some of those in there. Mm. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. But uh, yeah, I've been been threatening to, uh, to to throw together a, a new core pick, but every time I do, uh, oh, yeah? I just have a hell of a lot of fun with this one. Uh, uh, it, and, and you know it so well. <laughs> well, what, what, well, what, what is I'm playing this. Uh, playing so, this is that like the only corp deck that you've got? Uh, no, well, this is this is the, uh, the the most recent one that I've been playing. Okay, I've been right. playing it for quite a while now. Right, yeah. I, just, I just really, you know, I really enjoy it. And uh, the only, well, I don't know. There's, there's always things that give it trouble. Jinteki gives it a, a lot of grief. <laughs> but, uh, Jinteki. Not Jinteki. Uh, yeah. um, oh, us, the, the arch, arch, the um, anarch stuff. Anarch guys, yeah, yeah. Sorry, viruses yeah, and whatnot, sorry. and. Yeah. yeah, and that's the but, thing. Lethal so like was, acting, was but, kind of acting like that because she was doing ice destruction. Right. Yeah. Well, this is right. Right. Yeah. That's, that's that's the thing. Right? Imps. So, right. So if, she, yeah. if, if you were running Lilo with parasites, I mean, it could get really bad because you yeah. can wipe out all the. Right, ice. Parasites are nasty, and um, Atman gives it a lot of yeah. grief as well. Parasites, yeah. and then you go the, the, uh, the standard, the standard deja vu, and then you got two more parasites probably on. Yep. Yeah. Two more pieces of ice and standard uh, Atman plays to throw one out of four for four for four. Points and one right. out at uh, one, one four tokens, one at zero, and, and uh, so with the next three quarters of the ice. So, so with this, the so with the zero. actual uh, next uh, setup, does it matter what order they're put in? So if someone's able to parasite one of your ice, and mm-hmm. can he kind of destroy the whole makeup of your of your run? Um, is there or is it like all of them like kind of like end the run, or do they all have kind of? Well, there's 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 a variety. I mean, again, yeah. the, the way that uh, it was recommended to, to play the deck is to throw the things like uh, Eli and, and the, the things that the corp just right. click through, drop those on centrals because you really don't care if, if the or care if the runner goes through the central. You're right. trying to basically yeah. protect Director Haas I mean, in your one remote, right? Yeah. And that's it. And the, you're basically and that's an upgrade. The right? the plan, uh, she's the asset. Yeah, she's the asset. Yeah, right. so you're just trying to protect her. Yeah. And just just fast advance your your three point agendas or your three uh, three advance agendas uh, on, on one turn anyway. So if you can protect that one remote and just basically put your uh, I've got Eli's in there. I've got pop up windows. I've you know a few things like that. Pop just up windows, yeah. Love pop up window. Yeah, yeah it's pretty good. It just just taxes the just taxes good the runner. Yeah. Yeah. And cool. uh, but uh, until they get off that uh, double account site. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Which at that point, what are you gonna do, right? You're yeah. losing ten credit or ten credits. Double account. They're, they're getting they twenty. 20 yeah. <laughs> so and then they can break through anything. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. Thing, so I mean, yeah. what are you gonna do there? Um, the thing about Leela too is that I, I find that sometimes her ability is not very good because if you have Ice Out that has a certain synergy in terms of the order it goes out, right? Yeah. Particularly like Jinteki and sometimes even Wayland, like putting a curtain wall on the end. If Leela go and bounces something and you weren't happy about the, the position you had your ice in anyways, right? Sometimes she's inadvertently doing you a favor because oh the curtain wall is not at, at the, on the outside right now because I put something past it. Right. Yes. Right. Curtain yeah. wall gets bounced back. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna put it there. 
Perfect. Oh, yeah. So you get your RSVP so, bounce. And I'll drop that yeah, right up front. Exactly. So out of the uh, new, uh, I guess it's not the newest one because because we haven't gotten order and chaos here yet. It's on back order or whatever. Uh, but on the newest, um, I guess uh, data pack. The source, source. Is the latest one. Yeah, yeah, so let's talk about that for a second. Well, you, what's the key card out of the source that you would say well, should I, go into the deck? Well, I mean, obviously, well, I played the boner card. Playing... I played our so. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And, and so was, there was three of those. Card, right? There were there was three of those in there. <laughs> Every time he ran, jacked out, uh, he ended up using snitch, so he could just jack it whenever. Seeing what my ice was and got like crap load of. Yep. Oh, I could just sit, sit yeah. there and get one card twelve credits. Each. Yeah, one card for each. Every time he jacked out, right? Yeah. So. Um, so that, that is in the source, is it? The, that card, yeah. Snitch okay. came out in the last box. Oh, right, um, right. That was the, the criminal card. For Crim the box uh, Honor Prophet. Honor and Prophet. Mm -hmm. um, the hotel, Earthrise Hotel, that yeah. is huge. Yeah. So would you like? Would you recommend somebody get in that pack? I mean, just it's, just it's, for the just one. for the hotel. I mean, that's a neutral card. It is. Um, and if you don't know, I mean, it's a neutral card. Has three counters on it. I think it's three to come out or four to come out. What is four. it? Four. Four to come out. And every turn you're drawing, you're taking a counter. It doesn't even cost a click. Nope. And you draw three. two cards. I mean, it's, what? It's, it's, it's like Wild Side, but it's neutral. And, and it doesn't cost you a click. Yeah. It doesn't, yeah. It doesn't cost you a click. So yeah. for three turns, you're going to draw six cards for, for no. And it's not going to cost you four. any other than four credits. Yeah, which is really, I mean, it can make a difference, but I mean, in early you, game, it doesn't, you know? Because you wouldn't run it you in. You some daily casts, right? If you wanted yeah. to, right? Yeah. Some extra money or whatever. Or. Yeah. Um, well, that's the thing. This deck, I, I uh, with Ian, I was doing a whole whack of actions that was costing me nothing. I was getting money from Daily Cast. I was getting Earth Rise. My bad pubs. Bad pubs. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there was all these things kind of going on. Yeah. Um, um, I'm trying to think now. What other good cards were there in that? Uh, now, I, I personally had one from my criminal deck, so I, I have a pretty heavy virus deck. Mm -hmm. So I got Incubator, Incubator right? right. Incubator so that, that one allows you to kind of put virus counters on it every, every turn, and then you can kind of uh, trash it and then put those virus counters on another, I think, only can, on one other virus, whatever, but you can just throw the virus counters on, on another card. Yeah, uh, and the whole point of the deck uses Darwin, so it's kind of like that and pheromones well, to sort of yeah. get at the HQ, right? And the thing was that with what I was saying to you last time was that with Darwin, it's predictable. You can only it get is. one. So you look at it and say, okay, all my, my, my the ice on my big server is four strength. Yep. He only has two strength, so he can't get in next turn. He's only going to have three. Right. But you can break the tempo by dropping an incubator or a surge or something like that. Yep. And then suddenly you have... And then that, then it was one, one exactly. One yeah, that time, won. So. I, I won the game because of it. Yeah. I was able to, to surge... Uh, Two extra counters. And uh, gave me gave me the five on Darwin, and, and I was Darwin. able to run right through your Grail, yeah. right? Uh, now, of course, that Darwin works really well with that cybernetic uh, implants, is it? Oh, or E three. E three. Yeah. Right. So I mean, yep. once I broke the first one, because you break any subroutine for two, yes. uh, and it has X based on the virus counters of strength. I was able just to pay the one, they break through the rest of them, and yep. Grail kind of puts them all together, so even though it reveals a bunch of cards, yep. I just go, eh, just pay the one for each one of these, because it's the same ice, and uh, yep. it, was, it was a pretty cheap way of doing it, right? Yep. And the idea is to keep hitting the HQ with pheromones until it becomes ridiculous, until they want to flush you out, uh, and then just keep to keep pumping it more viruses and more counters until they go, mm, you want to give me a free turn? Sure, whatever. Yeah, and I'll just, for sure. Right? So that's... Yeah. So, what about your runners? What do you got? In your, anything? Uh, the runner deck that I'm currently playing. What am I playing? Because I just oh, mixed it up. I just mixed it up there. Uh, well, you did have a week. silhouette. In, I had a silhouette deck. Variety, a, again, uh, shamelessly stolen from, from the, internet. <laughs> right the internet. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Let's, let's just, let's just uh, backtrack. Okay. That, I, that, that, honestly, that's, that's a great way to, to, to learn the cards. Because I mean, okay. I, I I don't declare uh, consider myself an experienced player in any stretch. Uh, no, the I'm not either. I'm pr I'm, pr I'm, I'm pretty not, much but, the news. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, so. you know, in order to, to learn the cards, I mean, I find it's great. Just go on the net. You, you look at a bunch of decks and you say, okay, this one looks interesting. The way the guy who created described it looks like it's interesting to play it. I'm gonna throw that together, see how it plays. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But yeah. in the process, you get to learn what a lot of the cards are. So. Yeah, well, absolutely. So that works well. So, uh, sure, yeah. so yeah, so I had a, a silhouette deck, and uh, again, stolen from the internet. And uh, the, yeah. the trick that it was using it was using the uh, central only breakers from uh, uh, set escapes me now for the. 
for the moment. But the ones you can all use on centrals, yeah, but they're they're reasonably efficient for for what you get. And then it was using uh, quest complete and. Uh, oh, you're talking about the ones variety. that are like you can call a server or something it's like use passport something? breach. Okay, and right. Alias, alias yeah. Alias. Okay. Yeah. So you can use it only on central servers, and there's one for each of the three types. And they're, mm -hmm. they're again, they're relatively efficient yeah. uh, to get through. So the the trick is it, it's got ways of getting. Uh, extra clicks it's um, got the um, um, oh gee the console that gives you the ex the second yeah, run doppelganger. Uh, doppelganger thank you oh yeah doppelganger uh, right. doppelganger gives you the second run for free and yeah. it's got the uh, er early birds so you, in there to give yeah. you the you, you run on the first click and it gives you another click back so you can run again cool. and the goal is it, it, it tries to run all three centrals then it uses uh, silhouette's ability to uh, expose a card so if the, when you make your run on HQ so if the runner has a or the corp has a, a card sitting there in a remote. You say, "Well, is that an agenda? What is that?" Right. right. So you expose it, get to see what it is. Oh, okay, that's an agenda. Uh, run all three servers. Use quest complete to access that card. <laughs> and bang! There you go. You nice. basically bypassed all a whole their, bunch of agenda points. There, right? um, yeah. And uh, the notoriety is, is just the a extra one, points. A one, one pointer if you happen to run all uh, three centrals anyway. Which is what so, you're gonna yeah. do, right? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So anyway, I don't know. Maybe maybe next week I'll throw something together. I'm I'm due for a new uh, a new corp deck. So I've been threatening to do NBN for, for about a month now. So uh, I say you should only switch decks when a big box comes out. Oh yeah, really? <laughs> there we <laughs> Cause go. Because uh, you probably had that one one similar to that probably since what for a while. Uh, yeah. Honor profit. Honor profit. Oh, well, right. yeah, yeah. Right. So, in the, in the, in the every, it's every what six months the box comes out roughly. roughly. It's every six days. Right. Pack, which yeah. which is usually so at the end of a the cycle, end right? Of the cycle. Yeah. All right. So that the, the source was the last of the cycle for. That's the lunar cycle. The lunar, lunar cycle, yeah. right? San San was before that. San San is the next one. Right. San San's the next one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. And then at the end of that. Right. Um, <laughs> uh, NBN will get their box. Yeah. Okay. And don't know what. Because the there's four runners going in three Right, runners. yeah. That's yeah. yeah. right. So, so who are you going to pair it up with? Maybe it's going to be one in uh, neutral. Maybe it's all neutrals. Mm. That'd be interesting. A pure. I can't. But don't see forget, there's a lot of neutral cards neutral now that are coming out with the uh, influence, influence. costs. Yeah. So yeah. it might be something like that, right? Who knows? Or who knows? maybe they'll maybe they'll just totally split it up. Or maybe they'll, they'll add in a new faction. Maybe mm. unlikely, but uh, <laughs> you never know what they'll do. I said, in all honesty, I say they I, made they made us do a split. I expect, yeah, I say a little bit of everything. I honestly expect they'll just just do a, a rotate. They'll. Put in, just put, just go, go back, back to, go to back shaper again. again or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I don't think so. We'll, see, well, we'll see. Who knows? Yeah. The thing was that place your bets. The thing was <laughs> right. that NBN it's here now. It's, on, it's going to be on the internet. It's on the internet right now. So, <laughs> yeah. well, it's not right now, but you won't. Yeah. Be. <laughs> well, it's funny. NBN well, never does. It might be out, but yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I'll be doing it pretty quickly. Six months down the road. Down the yeah, road. It's true. Yeah, I'll be up for that. Yeah. Cool. Well, anyways, we should get back to playing some games, but uh, for everybody else here, I uh, go ahead and uh, if you're in the local area in St. John's, I don't know, but this could be anywhere. You could be from who, who knows where, America or whatever, um, but you can go ahead and email me um, if you want to have a comment or leave a comment below. Uh, my email is uh, rollingintentions at gmail.com, uh, and you can check out these guys on the Avalon Grid on Facebook. There is a group, uh, Avalon Grid. Um, yeah, I haven't even got a name for this section of the podcast yet but uh for now we're just gonna roll under our my rolling intentions logo and then yeah okay so anyways uh so long